Saturday, we're on London Fields, planting a whole load of new trees with Renature. London Fields Youth Group, Paul from Mossy Earth is here. A few new log pile habitats going in over there and we're digging a new path through the area. One last load of mulch to go around the trees that we've planted. Nina is up there planting trees somewhere. We have now planted more than 700 native trees. Balls. Another great day with a bunch of great volunteers. It's Sunday and we are planting trees again. And I've just taken a quick break because on that pylon right there, there's a couple of peregrine falcons. If only I brought a zoom lens. You'll just have to take my word for it. Hello, ducks. What are you doing? You're tangled. I'm on the way to Hackney Marshes and I have found a bee with some kind of thread stuck to its tail. Hello, you cool? Right, you are coming with me and I'll sort of help you when I get to the marshes. Once at the marshes lockup, I managed to cut away most of the thread with my knife and scrape away some of the residue that was stuck on its towel. I also gave it some energy drink because it was so weak by this point, which made it even stickier. So the only option was to give it a wash. And I must say, it was remarkably tolerant throughout the whole process. There we go. And we actually have something in flower here. With the bee cleaned up and in a much better place, it was time to crack on with the job that we were actually there to do. Planting trees and taking care of some of the ones that we've put in previously. We've planted kind of higher canopy species and now we're adding the kind of lower storey species so we get a complete structure. While Russell briefed people on what we planned to do that day, I set off to clear litter from the existing copses. Can't come to the marshes without there being tons of rubbish and just tip water out of this and we have the second bee rescue of the day come up here mate i dried it off with a bit of tissue then popped it into one of our currently unoccupied hedgehog boxes where it could rest and recover that's a prime example of the problems that rubbish causes that is a devil's coach horse beetle our largest uk rove beetle species it's crawled into the can and drowned in beer. And again in here we have some kind of beetle larva, a couple of snails. At least the snails still alive. Anyway, enough of the rubbish rants. Here's the tree planting footage. Another fine day on the marshes that wouldn't have been possible without these wonderful volunteers. And it's great to add on to what we've done over the last couple of years on this project. I'm really looking forward to seeing this site develop and grow in the future. It is Tuesday. I had a day off yesterday. Back at it again in Wick Woodland today. And there's a whole load of log pile habitat to build. And of course, we'll pick up any rubbish we find on the way. We are putting some standing deadwood habitat to complement the many log piles we have built. And here Russell's using the chainsaw to create a bat box. We'll also be putting bird and bat boxes up here and north of here on Hackney Marshes, also on London Fields. Structure-wise, we'll securely wire these failed trunks to a ring-barked stump. 
And once we've put a cluster of these together, it'll be hugely beneficial for so many species. A structure of this size will be held in place with wire and gripple, which we do at three stages to make sure it's totally safe and to discourage people from taking the logs to use in wood burners. Over the course of the day we saw a couple of great spotted woodpeckers, I could also hear a green woodpecker in the distance, and we had at least four sparrow hawk flybys. Sadly I didn't catch any of this on video, there's a few mini beasts instead. The most exciting of which being this jumping spider that we found in the lockup as we were putting our gear away. Oh hello, are you, I think you are and I did send pictures of this to the British Arachnological Society who confirmed its ID, it is Nidicolons. While they are fairly rare in the UK, they are very much under-recorded. This is the 107th record, although it depends on whose numbers you go by, so not exactly hold the front page news, but still a fairly special find. Good enough to make me happy anyway. <laughs>